Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. How are you guys all today? Um, today's video, I wanted to talk about creating a time-lapse clip in DaVinci Resolve. And what I mean by time-lapse clip is how to bring in a series of individual images that you photographed using your camera into DaVinci Resolve and turn that into a actual video clip. Now there are a lot of reasons why you want to be able to bring in individual photos into Resolve and then turn them into a clip using Resolve rather than a, than a third party platform like even like LR time lapse. Uh, one of the big reasons I find that I'm bringing in images directly is that I don't have a cropped uh, image already and it just gives me more to work with when I go into stabilization or when I'm adjusting how I want the image to look within the uh, within the the frame that I'm I'm working with on my project timeline. For example, if I'm working in a six, 16 by 9 aspect ratio in DaVinci, if I bring in the full images, make the clip inside DaVinci, I just have a lot more image to work with when I'm when I'm uh, uh, looking at the composition of the video. So today's video, as I said, is going to be on how to bring in uh, images into Resolve and uh, creating a, a video clip on your timeline. So um, let's get to the computer. Okay, so the first thing to do is uh, open a new project. Okay, so once you've opened your project, you want to go to the Media tab first. If you're in a, in a different tab, just switch to the Media tab here. This is the location where you can import the, the specific uh, sequence of files that you want to turn into your time lapse. Now I have um, some folders already uh, waiting here uh, that I can import. So I'll click on this folder and you'll see that uh, it shows that there's only one uh, image here. It's what it actually is, is a clip uh, from one to 327. So. DaVinci Resolve has already recognized that because the file names of the images are in order, um, it's already recognized that as an individual clip. Now it's, it's fundamentally important that when you set up your folder and you put your images in that folder that they are all in, in a numerical sequence or it won't work. So, you know, that's, I guess that's the basic underlying assumption of this process is that your folder contains specific images that are in numerical order. So once you have that located, you can just control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and add the clip into your media pool. Now, now you have it imported into your project and you can go to the other uh, tabs to work on it. At the end of the day, it's a super easy process as long as you've got your JPEG files or the images that you're using to create the, the clip uh, in numerical order. It's super easy. It's just a matter of opening them up, importing them in, and it's there. Now, once you have it in, it's just like any other video clip. You can add it to your timeline and you can work with it. You can do your editing. You can add in your, your music or do whatever you want. Now I mentioned in the introduction to this video that one of the reasons why I like to create sequences in DaVinci Resolve, um, it's because I'm able to import in the uh, full uncropped uh, image and I am able to use those full images to uh, stabilize the footage if necessary. Because uh, whenever you stabilize, you tend to lose a little bit off the edges as the uh, as the image gets punched in a little bit to remove the shake. So there's there's that. Now this this um, technique is very useful in hyperlapse photography, and I'm going to do a separate full video on hyperlapse and um, um, stabilization in DaVinci Resolve because it's a little bit more in depth. But for these purposes, uh, even a static time lapse like this there might be some reason to to stabilize because you know maybe you get some wind uh, maybe you've bumped your uh, tripod a little bit and so you can always stabilize the image now if you look at this I'm not sure if you guys can see it but there is um, there is some problems here 
it's not totally stabilized, at least at the beginning. And uh, in I think the reason for that in this specific case, and the, you know, this is a, a tip, a secret tip. I, I believe that I did not flick my lens to manual focus when I started this, this uh, time-lapse, but I switched it after I noticed uh, a, couple of minute, a couple of minutes into the time-lapse. So in the, in the initial part of the time-lapse, the screen looks like it's, it's uh, breathing a little bit. And so what I've done is uh, continued with it. And then uh, I've already done this before and I already know that I can stabilize um, once I to DaVinci Resolve. So I'll just quickly, since I'm here and it's no big deal, I'll just show you how to stabilize. So now uh, in DaVinci 16, in DaVinci Resolve 16, stabilization is in the inspector panel. So it's just up here on the top right. You just open up uh, stabilization. And like I said, I don't want to get into it uh, at this point, but there are, there are some options here you can check. Um, Camera lock is is something that happens when you select this when it's a, a situation where the camera was supposed to be of sitting in one spot, um, you know, sitting on a tripod filming a single scene rather than, for example, following someone around with a camera, which is a moving and intentionally a moving uh, video. But uh, this is a situation where it's actually intended to be a, um, a one exact scene. So I'm just going to select that for now, and then I'm just going to stabilize it. And it just takes a quick look at the image. Okay, it's punched in, it's done stabilizing. Okay, it's done analyzing the image. Uh, as you saw, it punched in a little bit to uh, to remove that stabilization. Anyway, there's the final, the final clip and it's looking uh, pretty good. Um, so there, that's how you create a time-lapse in DaVinci using individual images. Super easy, super, uh, super helpful to be able to do time lapse and then add those to your projects to make your uh, specific um, uh, videos look great on YouTube. So hopefully you found this uh, short video helpful and uh, this is going to be a tool that you can use in your in your creative work going forward. So subscribe if you haven't and uh, we'll see you on the next one.